Hmm? I was on my way back and somebody's calling me. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See you, punk. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing they want me to deliver something to Alphys. Looks like that elevator still doesn't work. Okay, let's go meet Undyne. Hey, I have something to give you. But you're carrying way too much. Oh, right. Let's go into my dimensional box and shove some junk food in there, I suppose. Um, so... I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I... I need you to deliver this letter. To Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um... Well, oh my god, look at her face. Look at her face. It's a love letter, isn't it? You... you cute, adorable... fish monster, orc creature, whatever you are. I think you're like a fish, but you kind of look like an orc, I don't know. But whatever, you're adorable. That sly face. It's kind of personal, but we're friends, so... I'll t tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. You got the Undyne's letter. <laughs> oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. I'm totally gonna read it. I'm totally gonna read it. I'm totally gonna read it. Let's go back to Hotland. Hmm. I should have worn a few more pairs of pants today. <laughs> How many pairs are you wearing right now? See ya. Hmm. Undyne's letter. Unique. Unique. Letter written for Dr. Alphys. Uh, hmm. What if I use it? Would that be... Would that be reading it? Maybe if you check the lab door, you can slide in underneath. Oh, I guess I can't actually read it. Dang. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under? <laughs> no! That's weirdly aggressive. Uh... Is there any reason I wouldn't want to? Uh, nah, go ahead. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Uh, oh, n no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. C can't I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um... It's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. <laughs> Should I use a laser to get it open? <laughs> hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god? Did you write this letter? <laughs> it, it wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this? And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Y yeah, let's go on a date. So we're finally going to have that date, huh? Dating start.
Question mark? Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. H how do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating star... H hey, wait! Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating... stop? Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right? Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got... some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, um, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I... Um... Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating start. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you like anime? Yeah, anime's okay. But, hey, me too. Do you... Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on the date with you. Why? Because, uh... Well... Oh no, here she comes. <laughs> hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it. <sighs> have you at least seen her? Oh, she's shaking behind the trash can. I guess Alphys really doesn't want to go out with Undyne. Mm. Should I tell the truth or should I lie? Ah, oh, Alphys looks so scared. No, I haven't seen her. No, but she wasn't at home. Where the heck could she be? Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, um... I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I, I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of... pretend date with you? To make you feel better? Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry. I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. Oh, then why don't you go on a date with her? Just too nervous? But, I mean, she's way out of my league. Aw, oh, she's nervous. Not that you aren't, um, cool. But Undyne... She's so confident, and strong, and funny. And I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but... All I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? <laughs> of course you... No, don't keep lying, just tell her the truth, of course. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say, be yourself. 
but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. I'm scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? <laughs> Obviously, let's roleplay. Yeah, let's roleplay it. R roleplay. That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us? Which one of us will be Undyne? Um, I'll be Undyne. Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> uh, hi, hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? <laughs> Second option. Y you're cute. I'm fine. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Uh, uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. <laughs> the spelling on this one is just horrible. What is it, Elvis? Um, you see, I... 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 I haven't exactly... I haven't been exactly truthful with you. You see, I... I... Oh, forget it. Undyne. I... I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave, and s strong, and, and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me f feel special. Like telling me that you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undyne! I can't take this any longer! I'm madly in love with you! Hold me, Undyne! Hold me! What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two... on a date? Oh, no! Uh... Yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean... I mean... Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About... well... everything. I told you that seaweed was like... really I just use it to make ice cream... what? In those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those... those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. At that time, I told you I was busy with work on the phone. I, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. At the I, Alvis. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alvis. I'm dying. I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alvis. What the fuck? Alphys? I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So... You don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Undyne, you... You're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaking. 
It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undyne. I'll, I'll do my best. Oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Anime is not real. No. No. I can feel my heart breaking into pieces. No. I can survive this. I have to be strong. For Alphys. Thank you, human, for telling me the truth. I'll try my best to live in this world. See you later. <laughs> okay. Now what? I'm glad to see Alphas and Undyne together, though. That's really, really cool. But what the hell do I do now? Uh, I guess I'll just leave and see if somebody calls me or something. What's this? Oh, already looked at that. This is the anime DVD. Desperate claw marks cover it. Oh, here we go. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend, who trusts me? This is Papyrus. You're also a mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go... there. To her. Lab. House. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, what's the best way to get there? I think over to the right and then down. Yeah, down here should take me to the, the boat. Take me on your cat boat. Once again, more pairs of pants. Do you even have legs? <laughs> that face. Elevator? I thought this was a bathroom. It's a note from Alphys. Read it? Uh-huh. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear, this isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Where the heck does this elevator go? Hold on, let me just check up here. Oh, hey! Looks like Mendaton is undergoing repairs. Uh, 
what, what? Elevator losing power? Tether stability lost, altitude dr what? Am I in a spaceship? Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we'll have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Don't tell me it's... Determination. <laughs> determination. True Laboratory. Note in the ground, you can't make it all out. Elevator. Lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you could read. It's a fake plant. Power room. Buy chips for 25 gold. Uh, no thanks. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose. And soon, they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then... Freedom might be closer than we all thought. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Some kind of operating table. It's sticky. You turned on the sink. Something drew near. What the hell are these? A, B, and Z. The enemy put a piece of itself in your inventory. Oh, okay. Nobody came? What? You take out your cell phone, you can hear voices through the receiver. I should never have touched the tap. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. M memory head? What? 
refuse. That's a shame. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Oh, okay. They wanted me to join, I said no, and then they're gonna go. Goodbye. Ooh. They leave something behind? There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it on your keychain. Wait, they just need one more soul, right? Am I gonna actually be able to get that soul and free everybody? Without killing anybody? There's a note on the ground. Drain. Dropped it. That's all I could read. <laughs> well, I've already done that. Click! The red key fits perfectly into the slot. So yeah, Alphys has, Alphys has done some really bad stuff. Some really horrible research, I guess, trying to extract lots and lots of small amounts of soul power from monsters, from their own people. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Is that a dog food bowl? It's an empty dog food bowl. Hmm. What was that sound? It sounded like me, like, using the inventory. <clears throat> when I just walked across right here. Seems like a comfortable bed. Lie on it. Uh, no thanks. Hmm, that is the only one I can lie on, though. Because its covers are different from the rest, which is why I used it in the first place. Let's use everything. Just in case, secrets. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Clock is broken. Okay, I think I need to finish this room first. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, no. Too, ma too many pathways. Let's finish this room completely. Let's sleep in the bed and see what happens. What the hell is that? Uh... <laughs> Thank you, you're so nice. Should I, um... Should I, uh, get out of bed? Okay, let's go. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it? I sent the souls and the vessel back to Asgore. And I called all the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Well, something obviously went wrong. No, 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 no! <laughs> yeah, something went wrong. Ugh. Oh, it's fine. Green key lying in the bathtub. You took it and put it on your keychain. Empty bathtub. 
Goodbye. What the hell? Oh, hi. I thought it'd be strange that there'd be a save right there. Smells like sweet lemons. What are you? Lemon bread? You don't look like no damn lemon bread. Scream! You screamed out, but nobody came. Ah! Oh, I see. Oh. Oh god. Okay. Junk food! Unhug. You let lemon bread be. Lemon bread's teeth shake. Um. Hum? Hum a familiar tune. Lemon bread's body shakes. Oh god. What the hell? This thing is creepy! Hum again? Nothing else happened. Huh. Uh, cry? You cried as loud as you could, but nobody came. Dang it! Whoops. You hear the melody of pulsating flesh. Ew! That makes me think I'm supposed to hum, but that didn't seem to do anything before, so I guess flex? You flex your arm, Lemon Red seems to remember something. Hmm. I mean, this does look like the flexor. So maybe it's remembering who it used to be? Looks like uh, Aaron was the flexor, right? Could this be goodbye? I think so. Goodbye. Aw, oh, didn't give me any gold. What is up with that creepy mask? Note in the ground. Under sheets. That's all you can read. Okay, so there's a key under the sheets. That's for the yellow one, right? Yeah, I've only got the green one. Bunch of VHSs. Seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. They seem to be alphabetized, save for a few stray. Sticky ones? Ew. Will you watch one? Sure, it's watch tape number one. Psst, Gory, wake up. Mm hmm? What is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that video camera? I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Mmm... Carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is... Edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet! <laughs> Now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Mm, I don't know, honey. Uh, what kind of dog would you be? I would be... A Mamaranian. <laughs> you sure are excited to have this child. Wait, you sure are excited to have this child? This child? This child? I'm not sure how I'm supposed to read that. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day, you could be... a famous... momedian. Uh... Well, I'm going to bed. Hey. Come on, Tori. That one was funny. Tori? Like, Toriel? <laughs> I know. I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh, dear. 
Perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. <laughs> that explains why it was black the entire time. <laughs> Can you actually watch all the videos? Hold on, I'm gonna read this first. Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. Let's watch them all. Number two. Why is this one black too? Okay, uh, wait, my name. Okay, uh, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> I wonder what the excuse for every single video is gonna be for why it's just black. Alright, let's see what this one is. Howdy, uh? Smile for the camera. <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on, on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. What? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for dad, right? What is it with butterscotch? So, wait a minute. So Toriel's here, right? And these, this was found in Asgore's castle, but Asgore hadn't watched them. And Uh is there, so is this tapes from when Uh was with Toriel? As living as a family? I'm confused. The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in butter cups instead. <laughs> yeah, those flowers got him really sick. Hmm. I felt so bad. We made mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway. Where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. I feel like there's some deep story significance to that, but for some reason I can't think of what it is. I don't I don't quite get it. There's something going on here. I I don't like this idea, uh. What? No, I'm not big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, uh. Never. Yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. Oh. Oh. Okay, so this is this is from after. This is from the outside world. After uh escaped. And uh wanted to go back and try to um try to let them out. I'll go get the flowers. Uh, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Uh, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You're the future of humans and monsters. Psst. Uh, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I... No, I said, I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Wait. Did uh try to kill six other humans to get their souls? What the hell were you doing, uh? DT extraction machine, status inactive. DT, is that determination? Whoa. Hmm. 
before I forget, I'm gonna go back to the beds to try to get the key. And have I already been up here? Yes. Also, I want to save the game. Come on, I know it's under one of these. Oh, there's something under the sheets. Mm-hmm, check it out. There we go. Let me just check the others, just in case. This dog food bowl is really suspicious. I feel like I should fill it with food. Wait, bad memory? What's this? Hurts 1 HP. Huh? Curtain, and I've already got this key, so I just need one more. I'm just gonna ram my face against the wall to see if I can go up somewhere here. Let me ram my face below, see if there's any rooms down there. Nope, that's it. Wait a minute, it's some sort of cold rectangular object. Hmm? What is it? something here? It feels like it's breathing. Oh! Something in the shape of a man. Well, there's no rooms down here, but I'm gonna try to use everything. I didn't try that before. There's creepy things here. Well, I guess that's it. Go off to the right this time. What is that? Is that snow? Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm gonna finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. <laughs> Is this just going to turn on the fans? Is that a switch on the wall? Sure. Uh... 